All right, what's going on guys? Edward here, back with another video. Thank you so much for being here again. Uh, today, I wanna discuss and I wanna show you exactly how to understand where a valid pullback is due to a couple of requests that I had. Uh, this is actually something simple to understand. Um, it's not complex at all. It's just a matter of understanding the structure. And let's say, for example, starting on a bullish, let's say we are on a bullish market, right? And just as an example, let's say we have one, then we have two, and we have three candles. These are bullish candles, okay? We're having an impulse, the price is pushing up. And then all of a sudden we have a red candle coming down like this, all right? If the price, it's very important to understand that the market, in order for a valid pullback to happen, the market has to sweep the previous candle low in a bullish, in this case, on a, on a bullish market, where, let's say the market was right here. Very important here to also understand uh, where this candle closed and if there was a week, let's suppose there is no week, but pretty much it ended up as a, an equal highs. Where is the highest point of this move? Right here, right? This is the highest point. And the lowest point was right here from this candle, right? So if market just does this, stops right there, and then from there goes up again, and it gives you this big, big green candle, this is not a valid pullback, okay? The market would have to do something like this, right? It would have to sweep the previous candle low in a bullish market, right? Now, if this is vice versa uh, on a bearish market, this basically applies the same. So something like this. This would not be a valid pullback because it's not sweeping the previous low, okay? The market would have to sweep the previous low, right? And, and then this would be considered a valid pullback, okay? So this is good. This right here is definitely uh, good, right? And this right here is not. All right. So uh, with that being said, let me actually go back to the charts and just right here, let's go into whatever uptrend or downtrend we're going to have. So right here, we see that the market is actually having and it's pushing up. It's having an impulse. It's even from here, from this low price pushes up. Right. And then all of a sudden drops, right. Pulls back. You see, where's the last high? The actual high was right here, right? Where's the lowest point? This one right here. What the market did, the market sweep the previous candle low, which is this one, the one that creates the highest point right here. This was the highest. It means that this lowest point is the one that needs to be sweep in order for this to be a, a, a valid pullback. OK, so, yes, we do have a valid pullback right here. Then price pushes up again. Where is the highest point in this case? This is the highest point, right? And this is the lowest point right here. Is it actually being sweep? I don't know. Let me see if I can actually put the line here. Did it sweep the previous low? It did not. You see, this, this was the lowest point. This was the highest point from this impulse, right? The highest point right there. And then... Is it the, hold on, just that because I'm not seeing that well in there. Let's see if this is in fact the highest point. Uh, well, technically is. It's almost like equal highs. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, literally. So equal highs. Anyways, this is the highest point right here. And this is the lowest point. Price pulls back, but never sweeps the previous low. That means that this is not a valid pullback. Okay. The market is definitely not creating my valid pullback right there. So it means that so far the movement is seeing something like the market is still pushing up. Now, all of a sudden creates this last high right here, right? And here you see this was the lowest point right there. What the market does, sweeps the low and then pushes up. So yes, this right here is a valid pullback before pushing up. This was not, okay? understand all right let me clean some of the stuff all right 
Femtini. For example, here, you see that market pushes up. We see another big impulse right here. We do have a little correction and then pushes up again. So th that minor correction, when the market created this high right there, right, where was the lowest point right here? So market, you see, it would have to take this low to then maybe go up and this would be then a valid pullback. But so far market is just continue pushing up. Okay. So after the market creates another high, again, this is the lowest point and this is the last high market does not break or take any liquidity to the downside. It, done, it does not sweep the previous low. So it means the market is still looking bullish so far. Price keeps pushing up, creates another high right here, another high. The lowest point was right here. It was never swept, right? Then the market breaks and then creates another high right there. And then for this time now, this candle starts actually breaking, you see. For the first time, it breaks right there. So it sweeps. That means that this movement already is it's a valid pullback. The market is actually pulling back from there. OK. So I hope you guys understand whenever we are on a bullish. OK. Very important right here. Look at this move. Right. Very strong move to the upside. Right here. Where's the highest point right here? Where's the lowest point right here? Did the market sweep? Yes, the market did sweep. You see the market actually pulled back, took the previous candle low which is right here after taking the previous kind of low now pushing up this means that this is definitely a valid uh, valid pullback right here all right let me continue looking for more bullish scenarios um in this particular scenario right here where was the highest point it was it was in fact this one this was the last high right and the previous low was the market sweep yes the market did sweep that right started dropping so this is definitely a valid pullback okay market creates the high all right keeps pushing even right here right price creates this high this is the previous low right market never breaks below never breaks below and instead breaks above again right now on that break to the upside we have this low and this high market actually finally pulls back sweeps the previous candle low and then pushes up that means that this is a valid pullback this was not a valid pullback right here all right and and so on you can see that it's, it, it's just very simple to see when the market pushes up even right here you had an impulse minor correction and another impulse so this right here is it definitely in a pullback let's see let's see if it actually this low is sweeping this low it looks like it's not sweeping this previous low so this is not a pullback market is like the direction the market is just looking like that so far right creates this last high previous low was right here was it swept yes it was actually swept so this is a valid pullback at this point now all of a sudden it starts failing and start falling now going to the downside now let's see how it's shifting in this case now let's say on a bearish we're going bearish now where was right here let's see i think this was the lowest point and the highest point was right here market swept the high right that's that means that this is definitely is something like this you see it's pulling back and now it's dropping so this is definitely a valid pullback okay always paying attention to the last to the to the actual move when the market creates a high all right you're going to see what candle was the highest point which candle okay and that actual candle which was the one that created the last high see where the last low is so if the market actually eventually will do something like this sweeps the low and pushes up this is a valid pullback if it doesn't the market does not break let's say this is the candle this is the body of the candle right there and the market never like here right here the market never breaks that low and it pushes up this is not a valid pullback the market is just still moving up okay so it's not a valid pullback unless it takes the previous candle low understand that and it on a bullish market and on a bearish market it has to take the previous candle high 
okay i hope it makes sense it just vice versa all right so let me clean all this stuff and let me keep looking for just a couple more examples but this is something like that guys it's just very simple uh don't overthink too much to so make it complicated it's just like that this is how it is so uh let's go to another uh maybe another maybe a currency pair all right this happens in any time frame in here in this case let's go let's go to odd usd okay so we're on a bullish uptrend right here price is moving up right see the market pushing up creates this last high right there after creating that last high this is the previous candle low market is actually sweeping that low so that means this is already a valid pullback right whatever happens here price broke this is a valid pullback okay now um last candle high was right here last candle low was right there price pulling back right sweeping that and then push stop okay valid pullback all right now let me see let me give you another another example on a bearish side Look at this scenario for example right here we see the market is dropping right here right where was the last high the last low i'm sorry last low was right here this point and the last high was right here right market goes up right takes the previous candle high right and then after that drops so that drop this is definitely a valid pullback okay when the price is pushing up and continuation to the downside now look at what happened next look at this huge move very important right here okay market creates this low right where's the last high right here right the market does go up though but it never sweeps that previous high so price then decides to break to the downside right something like that this is not a valid pullback the market needed to sweep this this entire candle okay this was the lowest point this was the highest point market just went a little bit in between and then continued to the downside this is nothing the market would be looking well, so far would be something like this this is a valid pullback and then it would be looking for something like that right so this 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 whole move this whole candle right there is very important okay because this this would be like a trap okay oh market is actually pulling back no in reality is not pulling back just yet the market would have to sweep okay if it sweeps that high then we have a um, a valid pullback in this move okay from this move so it creates a low boom all right let me let me give you a couple more examples. Keep going on the bullish. So something like this, right? The previous high was right here. Previous low and this impulse right here. We had a big impulse, right? Eventually, the market is actually sweeping the previous candle low, right? And now pushes up right so this is definitely a valid pullback right market now again creates a previous high this is the last high right there last low market sweeps the low this is definitely a valid pullback as well a little valid pullback right there this is this is the market creates another high and this is another low right there this is definitely another pullback even though it gets a little deeper this is still a pullback okay the market is still pulling back okay because it's breaking what matters here is that it's breaking the previous candle low all right whenever the market pushes up as i explained very important to see where the candle last candle high and low so if the market pulling back like that it just goes up this is nothing this is not a pullback it's very important to know where the candle is okay it has to sweep and would you say oh 
do can I include the week? Yes, you have to include the week. It's always the week right there. Okay. The market has to sweep entirely. Okay, has to sweep the previous low. The previous if the week was right here, okay. So market has to sweep to be then in this case a valid pullback. And now you have definitely your valid pullback, right? So yes, including week, body of the candle and week. All right. So I hope it makes sense. Guys, let me know what you think. And it's that simple. Don't make it complicated. Don't overthink too much. I see a lot of you guys are still overthinking too much. You're asking me the same questions over and over again. That's fine. I'm, you know, still willing to answer every questions you have, but make sure to complete watching. If you have doubts and you're interested in, for example, in smart money concept, I do have a free course uh, literally with, I believe, over 60 videos right now. As of right now, over 60 videos in there. Just go ahead and watch it. I'm going to leave the link um, at the top of the corner right here in case you want to watch it. All right. So if you have any doubts, any questions, something else you want to see on the next video, just let me know. All right. Please reach out. Don't be afraid to ask. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.